Melissa Caspern, and today I am at Robert Adams Middle School speaking to the director and some of the cast from Shrek the Musical. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. The ogre has fallen in love with the princess. Oh, good lord. We're doing the classic story of Shrek from the, I think it's 2000, 2001 movie. It's the same story, but I, I actually like the show a little bit better because it develops characters a bit more. And what's your favorite part about participating in the musicals? Um, I think like meeting the new people and also um, being able to learn so, so many new things. Like I've definitely improved since last year and I think it's because of how good of a program this is. And other than that, you can also show other people your talent and skill on stage and they can see how good you are with that. You filthy wedding crashers! Guards! Guards! And the process of putting together the musical, right now you guys are getting to dress rehearsals, but kind of take us through what it entails from that first audition until opening night. Um, well, right after the audition process, the cast list will come out and we have our first rehearsal like in the next week after that. And then after that, it's basically just rehearsing, getting blocking down. We do two days of blocking a week, one day of dance, one day of music, and you're just learning everything. And then at home, you're sort of expected to learn your lines. And then around the end, there's tech week with costume, with music, and you get ready for the show, which is like a week after that. Stop him! Stop him! I'm taking your abuse for the last time, Farquaad! Now, last year you guys got a pretty special recognition. Tell us a little bit about the awards that you won for the musical last year. We were nominated for 10, and we won four of those, which were Best Acting Ensemble, um, Best Lead Actor and Actress, and Best Overall Performance. And that would be you, right, Teddy? Yeah, <laughs> that was really awesome. That was just so, I don't really have words. It was awesome to just go on stage and win it. It felt amazing. All right, just quiet. Let's go. Quickly, places. Beth, tell us a little bit about how long you've been involved in the middle schools at the middle school. I have been in the middle school one, eight years. I'm looking on the wall because we have posters on the wall. So this is my eighth year. I started doing it when my daughter was going into middle school, and so I've been doing it ever since. Stop the wedding! Ah! This production was our biggest casting ever. I have about 65 actors and another 20, 20, 25 crew. So almost close to 80, 90 kids. It's the biggest we've ever had. You guys are making a riot. You're gonna be having signs. You're gonna be screaming. I want you to scare the you know what out of the audience. I have to say the kids are great. I used to um, do theater in high school. And when I came here to middle school, I didn't lower my expectations. They run the whole show, and they really rise to the occasion. It's a very professional show, and um, I think our audiences have been very pleased. Yeah, so I think audiences have definitely been pleased, as well as critics, because we hear last year you won some awards. Can you tell us a little bit about that? We did. It was very, very exciting. So last year, for the first time, we went through the Massachusetts Theatre Guild, and they come and they watch the show, and then at the end they give us feedback, and it's great for educational, which was the main reason we did it. But on top of that, all the shows that they watch, they then kind of do a Tony Awards kind of thing, and we won, and we ended up winning Best Overall Acting for Ensemble. We won Best Actress, which was Allison Hurd, and she played Morticia. For Gomez, it was Teddy Peters for Best Actor, and then we won Overall Best Performance, which is out of 19 schools, which is really exciting, because this is the first time we ever did it, and we kind of swept it, which was really exciting. I we would have free Nike without him. Theater's always been something I really enjoy doing. It's an amazing way to express yourself and get to like know different personalities and aspects of it. Like just yourself and it's an amazing way to meet people. Ever since I was little, acting's kind of been my passion. And I felt like since the, this school is such a great program for acting that I would love to get involved with the shows and have a good time. So that's why I got involved. Well, gentlemen, I did the good night. You want me to read you a bedtime story? Because I will. I said goodnight. What's been your favorite memory so far? Personally, I like uh, at the end of the shows, everybody kind of gets together and we have a sort of going away party for each other, kind of, and we all share things and experiences from the show and 
was what our ups and downs and everything. So that's, I enjoy that. And we cry. And you cry. <laughs> so some of us. <laughs> never you. Never. No. I would never do that. Fighting over me. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, Alex's finale. One of the things that was always important to me is that, especially I think it's maybe more so because I'm a guidance counselor, that kids feel they have a safe place. And kids that usually maybe socially didn't fit in find a home here. And it's just, it's so important. On top of it, I want them to be proud of the production. You know, I always tell kids, I don't want them walking away going, eh, I was okay for middle school show. I want them to walk away going, wow, that was amazing for a middle school show. And so far that has happened. It's kind of all come together and it's been a great experience. Cast and crew. For Heartbeat of Holliston, I'm Melissa Caspern.